leader of a Proud Boys chapter who just flipped on his boys, essentially putting dozens of members who face charges of the January 6th insurrection in a very precarious position. Here's what we know courtesy of Vice News. Late last week, the Justice Department announced that Charles Donahoe, leader of the North Carolina Proud Boys chapter, had pleaded guilty to two charges conspiring to disrupt the certification of the 2020 election results and assaulting, resisting and impeding law enforcement officers. Donahoe was charged with conspiracy along with five prominent Proud Boys, including including the group's former national chairman, Enrique Tarrio. Now here's a picture of Donahoe at the rally. And he has agreed to testify in any and all cases where his testimony might be deemed relevant by the government, which could essentially be very devastating for its impact on his fellow Proud Boys. We only have a few minutes left, but Ben, was how do you, how do you feel about this? Well, I mean, you, I'm, I'm stunned that somebody who's one of the leaders of an organization of total morons would <laughs> not have loyalty to that group and would flip on them quickly when faced with actual consequences for their absurd beliefs. I also am stunned that apparently the top amount of jail time, the max sentence that, that, could, that could be handed out for this is 20 years if he had not mm. struck this deal. 20 years for trying to stop the certification of the US election? I don't understand that. Isn't it in the Constitution that treason is punishable by death? <laughs> so it seems like there's some miscommunication happening here between our founding document and the way these things are being enforced. For some reason, whenever anybody gets to any amount of power in an organization, you become a leader in it. Oh, you're high enough up now, you can avoid punishment for stuff. Just punish the little guys who are following the orders of the people in charge that can manipulate the minds of a bunch of idiots. We still got to we got to punish them. We got to punish the top as well. We got to fix that problem. <laughs> wow, so what do you think? Yeah, I mean, Adrian, you're an attorney. You know what happens. Everybody's a keyboard gangster. Everybody's a hard rock until they put the numbers in front of you and it's like, whoa, whoa, hey, hold up, hold up now. <laughs> what do you need exactly? That's just obvious. That's what's gonna happen. These dudes aren't actually riding and dying for some freaking cause. They, it's an internet hobby, okay? It's a little club that they do together that makes them feel more powerful and you know more important than they actually are. Some real you know, some real deal police and got involved and it was like, nah, I don't want any parts of Tiny and Sing Sing. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love how a lot of these people just think that they really are something and then they get caught, like you said. And then all of a sudden they're willing to flip on whomever, whatever needs to be done to keep them from being imprisoned and to actually face consequences, they are willing to do it. Um, so it's, it is one of those things where I do not doubt that this is what a lot of people expected, but still it brings a little bit of a smile on my face just to know that it is happening. So hopefully more people will be held accountable. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.